Jim Jones was sleeping with the women and the men. My Lord. The members of the congregation was giving him. Mm. He ain't had to force no one. They were giving him their daughters and giving him their sons based upon the scripture that he would use, present your body. Mm. Yeah. Ever living sacrifice. And he made himself the high priest and the sexual act was a form of self-sacrifice. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. And you see why we preach hard? Amen. I was in the Bahamas last week. So Sunday night, Sunday night we open up the floor for question and answering. Uh -huh. We go into the Bible on various subjects. And one of the sisters or mothers from the choir from the Bahamas raised her hand. She said, will you sp please speak on husbands raping their wives? Yeah. I looked. Yeah. I said, huh? She said, Pastor Jennings, that's a big problem here in the Bahamas. It's such a big problem until even the politicians are saying it's all right for a husband to rape his wife. And the churches are saying that it's impossible for a husband to rape his wife because it is his wife. My Lord. So that means this. First, let's define rape. That's right. Force entry against one's will. Right. That's right. I want it to be good for all you churches. Now, any of you women watching me, I don't care who your pastor is. Yeah. If you got a bishop, a pastor, a prophet, or elder, pastor, Evangelist, I don't care who he is, where he come from, right. who teach that is nothing wrong for a man to force himself oh. even upon his own wife mm. and take by force her womb or any other member of the body against her will. Right. And he tried to use this scripture. Right. 7 chapter 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, we're at verses 3 this and 4. This is a good lesson. Amen. I want to show you what these mad men use. Amen. The prophet is the fool, Ooh. spiritual man going mad, and I want to show you how these foolish, mad, Bible-carrying apostolics, That's right. Pentecostals, That's right. non-denominationals, yeah. so-called Christians, use the Bible. Oh, yes. Imagine using the Bible to justify rape and say it's not rape. Mm. Listen! 1 Corinthians 7 at verses 3 and 4. All right. Let the husband render unto the wife Let due benevolence. the husband render unto the, to wife, the wife due benevolence. Honor. Respect. I, that's right. Yeah. Due benevolence. Due benevolence. Yeah. And likewise also the wife unto the husband. I want to itemize husband. the same scriptures we went to. Right, right. In the Bahamas, I want to show you this. Amen. And likewise. And likewise also the wife. The wife. Unto the husband. What is so honorable about a husband forcing his will yeah. upon his wife? Amen. Where there's rape, there's violence. That's right. Now look how sloppy and dirty this teaching is. Yeah. In the book of Corinthians, yes. that the husband has power. The wife has not power of her own body. The wife ain't got power over her own body. But the husband. But the husband. And likewise also the husband but has likewise, not power of his own also, body. Also, the husband ain't got power over his own body. But the wife. What? Defraud ye not one the other. Unless. Except to be with consent for so a So they focus on what Jesus said. They're no longer two, but one flesh. One flesh. They're one flesh. Yes, you are one flesh. That's right. But does that give you the right to abuse right. to one flesh? In the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Now listen, preachers. Amen. If you go around teaching, there's nothing wrong with forcing yourself on your wife. Mm. Look at the ignorance that's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Suppose 
the man and the wife separate. Uh -huh. That's right. And he go pick up other trash out there. Right. A bunch of floozies. Amen. <laughs> Loose things out there. Loose. He come back with a trail mix mm. of bacteria. Yeah. Then say, I'm, I want to be reconciled to God. Fine. Fine. Yes, a trail mix. You know, when you buy a trail mix, you may got cashews, pecans. Yeah. Little yogurt clusters. So on this trail mix package, he's the bag. Mm. He got syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, HIV, the crabs, the oysters, the lobsters. All type of things in his All package. Type of things. Until he can't even piss quietly. Mm. <laughs> and you dumb pulpit bums Amen. will tell that woman, well, that's your husband, and you got to give it to him. What woman in her respectable right mind yeah. want a bunch of trash and garbage and parasites and insects yes. discharged in her? That's right. And you dumb preachers say he can force himself and take it. Prove it. Prove it. Because even though the Bible says you're one flesh, nowhere in the Bible nowhere. does the Lord give a man the right or command no. to force his will no. upon his wife. That's right. When Jesus preached marriage, it was a union. That's right. Whom the Lord joined together, not whom the Lord put together by force. No. That's right. Look how Luke's the teaching is. Yeah. So that's saying he can slap you, yeah. beat you, kick you, stomp you. No. That's right. And then when you say, oh, no, I ain't laying with you, he want to beat you in submission and beat your legs open. Mm. Because you dumb apostolic brother. fools Go ahead. and mad men Man. in the pulpit saying, well, if it's a husband, it ain't rape. That's, a That's right. That's right. If you're going to teach that. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Then answer this question. Do you have any daughters? Mm. Imagine your daughter had a stroke. Mm. And she's 25. Hand maybe twisted. Mouth somewhat twisted. And because of your teaching, her husband, Lord. your son-in-law, She's telling him, no, 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 no I, I, please don't do Come this. On, That's right. And your son-in-law said, your father preached. My Lord. Your father preached that I can take what's mine. No, 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 please. No, no, no. I, I, don't have, I, I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength. I just got over a stroke. I don't care. My Lord. It doesn't matter. My Lord. And you mean to tell me you dumb preachers. Amen. We're justified. justified. You are pervert. That's right. The job of the preacher is to protect the people of God in every way. That's right. You don't need me as your shepherd if I don't protect you with that Bible. That's right. A shepherd protects the sheep. Amen. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. That's right. A shepherd. Go ahead, man. 
protects the sheep. Oh, yes. Not just protect them from out there, no. but from in his own house. That's right. Look how dangerous that teaching is. Yeah. You can force yourself. So what's going to happen? That false prophet will come and ask you for your own daughter yes, or for your own son. Yeah. And then tell you, it's mine anyway. Mine. That's right. Because I'm your leader. Yeah. So I, if I'm your leader, I got the right to force my will. Right. Like the Mormon church. Yeah. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's right. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 wives yeah. that these men have. Making their own tribe, two and three and four hundred children. That's right. Where the women got the right out of schedule when they have sex. My Lord. With their pimp. My Lord. The prophet is a fool. You dumb fool. The spiritual man is mad. Any preacher, get over there Amen. and say I'm wrong for preaching this viewers. He's a pervert. That's a pervert. Because think of it, he's saying I'm wrong for preaching against rape, and he's getting over the air to justify rape My Lord. upon his own wife. My Lord. That lets you know he probably been doing it. That's right. That's right. I ain't got to rape my wife. No. Offer that body up willingly. That's right. As a living sacrifice unto me. Yeah. Give me my holy sacrifice. That's right. That's Are you right. listening? That's right. It ain't no force. No force. Ain't no beat up. No. Ain't gonna beat you. No. Just come on in here. <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. Church women are getting beat up by their husbands. That's true. Church women are getting stomped and kicked by their husbands. That's right. Church women, and after they get stomped and kicked, they got to look at that hypocrite in church. He Alibaba, and the 40 thieves. That's right. You're speaking in tongue, hypocrite. Hypocrite. Amen. Amen. With that type of teaching, you open up the window for threats. That's right. I let you off the hook tonight, but tomorrow you're going to give it or else. Yeah. It is no woman should have to live under that tyranny. No. None. None. Wonderful, man. You dumb. Not even Jesus. The church is his wife. Right. The church is the bride. That's right. What do Jesus force us to do? That's right. Jesus said, whosoever will. Yeah, will let him come. Ain't that what he said? That's right. That's right. He don't force us to come to him. No. Whosoever will. Will. God wants us to come to him willingly. That's right. Get on your knees and pray willingly. Yeah. Fast and pray. Pray willingly. willingly. Wish up him and say it willingly. willingly. If God don't force his wife. Yes. Use a hypocrite to force yours. That's right. That's right. So to the government Preach it. of the Bahama Islands. Preach it. And all you pulpit dogs. Amen. Regardless of what religion you represent. That justify raping your wife. Oh. I challenge you. Not just the Bahamas. The world. That's right. The world. That's right. Here's a woman getting raped outside and then got to come home and get raped inside. Amen. Use a selfish, no good bum. Oh, yes. That woman can be traumatized just like being traumatized outside. That's right. Suppose she's ill. Suppose she's feeble and frail. Oh, yeah. Good teaching, right? That's right. Feeble, frail, sick. Yeah. Like the situation here, I think it was in Pennsylvania, where this guy was posing as a uh, care take care, uh, caretaker. caretaker of elderly people. Uh -huh. 
and in the senior citizen's home. Right. And here's a woman who was a comatose patient. Yeah, that's true. And she ended up pregnant. Yeah. How do you end up pregnant in a coma? Mm. Gabriel ain't visiting you. Come on, Gabe. Lord help us. So look at the what ifs, yeah. the various scenarios where you dumb preachers. Give me the book of Ephesians. I believe that's where he was going. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25. I want everybody to hear me and follow me. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25. All right. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, rape your wives. Husbands, yeah. love your wives. Even as Christ also loved the church. He didn't force nothing upon the church. That's right. And gave himself for You see for how it. dangerous this teaching is? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That man may backslide. Ain't walking with God no more. True. He may be drunk, an alcoholic. That's true. He may got so many venereal diseases, he got diseases he never heard of. That's right. Amen. But you dumb preachers dumb. saying the wife got to dump on, he, he got the right to dump on his wife whatever he want. Some preachers went as far as saying, well, what about the vows, Pastor Jennings, for better or for worse? What's that good? Mm. You trifling pulled pit dog. That's, amen. Then why don't you say that when she step out on you? That's right. Why don't you say for better and worse and take care of the baby that ain't come from you? Amen. It came from another man. Yeah. No, you use that when it comes to yourself. That's right. But you won't use that when it comes to her, you hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. You try to use the Bible when it fits you. Fit you. Yeah. You take the Bible and make it respect the person. That's right. For better or worse. All right. You step outside of marriage <laughs> and get pregnant by Peter. Uh -huh. Peter made up in his mind he ain't taking care of the baby. Yeah. Now she's coming back home to Matthew. For better or worse, Matthew. That's right. Why don't you take care of the baby? That's right. Well, no, that's different. No, I'm oh, dealing with for better or worse. That's yeah. Right. Come on, that's, right. that's what I'm dealing with. The scripture or the quote that y'all make at the altar. You use for better or worse when it comes to rape. That's right. All right. What about for better or worse when it comes to adultery? That's right. You're a hypocrite. That's right. You come jump on Pastor Jennings. I'll take you for a ride. Wonderful. Amen. And nobody is preaching this. Nobody. They're not even preaching like this. No, they're not. No, they're not. Because they're afraid to deal with subjects that is of, necess of a ne necessity. necessity. What I'm dealing with is everyday life from the Bible. That's right. And the mad fool preachers and what they believe. Yeah. All right, listen at this. Husbands love your wives. Chapter and verse. We're still working on. Our men justify the rape their wives. Ephesians chapter 5 at verse 25. Women just fresh out of a coma or just had a baby. Yeah. She just had a seventh child. She ain't got no strength. Mm. She's laying there trying to breastfeed the baby. Oh. And he's so inconsiderate. Mm. He's just raping her. That's sick. Then you got some men who ain't working. Yeah. Home all day like a stinking, no good, trifling bum. That's right. Wife got kids and working. Come home tired. Yeah. And all he do is thinking about his needs and wants. That's right. Well, you, you've been neglecting me. She working. Amen. You ain't doing nothing yeah. but looking at the ball game. Yeah. Talk about it. Talk about it. You're not doing nothing. That's right. But looking at a ball game. That's right. She's working, carrying the whole load. So what you do? Well, I'm going to take it. Mm. And if you don't give it, I'm just going to call one of my old friends. <laughs> now, imagine if she pulled out a phone. You got a little black book. So she pulled out a whole yellow pages. <laughs> Amen. Remember, remember, for better, for worse. That's right. You trifling heathens. That's trifling. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Oh, Amen. Amen. 
you talking about you got a preacher. You out there ain't got nothing but a lazy bum who won't preach nothing. That's right. Listen. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25. Let's still deal with this wife rape thing. Husbands, love your wives. What? Even as Christ also loved the church. And what did he do? And gave himself for it. No, he took your life for it. And gave himself for it. He offered himself for it. Down Listen. in verse 28. All right. So ought men to love their wives. So ought men. To love their wives as their own bodies. Mm. Love your wife as their own body. Just like you love your own body. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. All right, you rapists. Amen. The Lord says, Amen. love your wife as their own body. As your own body. Amen. You say there's nothing wrong with raping your wife because it's not rape. She's yours. Mm. Okay. The Bible said, love your wife as their own bodies. As your own body. He that loveth his wife. He that loveth his wife. Loveth himself. Love himself. For no man ever no yet hated. Man. What? For no man ever yet hated. His ever yet hated. His own flesh. Is rape. Mm. A act of hate. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yes. It ain't an act of love. No, it's not. No. Now. If the Bible said love your wife like you love your own body, and if you feel as though rape is right, then why don't you rape yourself? That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. Amen. How can you do that, Pastor Janice? <laughs> we won't get into that. Let's go to Acme. Let's go to, that's right. Go to Walmart. Amen. Go to the vegetable aisle. <laughs> and toss your own salad. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Go ahead, Pastor. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, you understand it now. <laughs> Amen. Listen, that's the Bible. So are men to love their wives as love their own bodies. Your wife as their own bodies. As your own body. You got to treat your wife's body the way you treat yours. That's right. Do you force entry your own self? Mm. Do you abuse your own self? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you hear the Bible? So are men to love their these, wives. These, these, these are scriptures they don't deal with. They can't see. No. You're just focusing on your lust. That's it. And your sick, mad lifestyle, you pervert. <laughs> That's right. Your raping, pulled, pick, crook. Amen. Any of you women watching me and you being raped by your husband or you go to a church that justified, get out that church right now. Get out if, you, if you don't, you're going to end up being raped by the preacher, by the parishioners, by the deacon, and your daughters are not safe either. That's right. Do you hear this? So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Now, if there's any preachers mm -hmm. in first church who justify it, leave. That's right. I don't want no parts of you. No. I mean it. Leave. Amen. I will not fellowship with no man Amen. that believes nothing wrong with raping your own wife. Own wife. That's God. violence. That's right. You don't respect her body? No. No, no. You don't respect whether she's sick, weak. That's right. You're separated. Look, look at the situation. Suppose they're separated. Yeah. And some nut hear that scripture. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I can still take what's mine even though I ain't under the roof with you. That's what they'll Suppose saying. you divorce. That's true. Oh, I'm coming back to Christ. I ain't been there in five years. I'm coming back and take what's mine. Because I heard, I heard Bishop Yakamak shoot box. <laughs> Amen. And he said, I can rape you in Jesus' name. Lord. You sick, That's sick. blind fools and mad preachers. Mad preachers. Why don't T.D. Jakes preach this? That's right. Why don't Creffler Old Nut preach this? That's right. Why don't Joe Alstein preach this? Yeah. Why don't Joe Rapist preach this? Oh, yes. That's 
Talking about God called and sent them. When God called and sent a man, it ain't no subject off limits. No. And the apostles were delivered out of prison. The angel told them, go to the temple yeah. and tell the people all oh, the words of this life. Right. And they say, I'm too graphic. No, I'm a truth teller. That's right. And don't care who it hurt. Many of you watching me now, your mama was a victim Lord. of the rape from her own husband, your father. Uh -huh. Many of you watching me now, you being raped right now. My Lord. And under that rape ideology yeah. and the preacher's quoting Bible, you're one flesh. And they use the one flesh scripture to justify force. Until your purification went off years ago. But when he's done, you'll bleed out. Yeah. Because of some dirty pig you married. That's right. Being led by a dumb dog. Right, dumb you come dog. jump on Pastor Jennings. Amen. Leave your churches. Oh, yes. Leave every church that justifies men raping their husbands. That's right. Leave the church. Don't stay there. Leave the church. Leave it. Right. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of women logging on now can bear witness yeah. because many of them are victims. Yeah. If you ain't going to let a man rape you out there, why let your husband rape you? Listen, why would you let a man rape you out there then let your husband do the same violence, beat you, smack you, kick you? My Lord. Honey, honey, not tonight. What you mean not tonight? What do you mean not tonight? What did you say to me? That's right. Please, please. You got to intimidate your wife to lay with you. Mm. Where's your new, no due benevolence? Due benevolence. You can't respect the fact that she's frail. That's right. You can't respect the fact that you're traumatizing her. Yeah. Imagine if she was a rape victim before you married her. Mm. And you going to rape her again. You have opened up being traumatized all over again. That's right. You dumb, ignorant, blind, poor pit buzzards. That's dumb. You're mad. That's right. And you're fool. And you're... That's why they can't stand us. That's right. That's right. This is a message for the time right here, right now. Right now. Yeah. Amen. I ain't, I ain't never forced myself on my wife. No. For what? No, no. I ain't gonna force myself on her. She knows she belonged to me. I, I, I'm a firm believer. You treat a woman right, you ain't got no problem. That's right. <laughs> you ain't got to read her. That's right. You treat her right, she'll, she'll come to rape you. In a nice way. In a nice way. <laughs> yeah? All you got to do is treat her right. You come home from work, tired and whatnot. And once that woman asks you, you, you tired? <laughs> yeah? Once that woman asks you, you tired? And you're like, yeah, yeah, look. I done, <laughs> I done worked all day. And, ah, I'm exhausted. Woman may say, all right, lay down for a few seconds. <laughs> Turn back over. You really that tired? <laughs> now, what would you say if I just take what's mine? Yeah. That's a different kind. Yeah. That's right, bro. That's right, Dream. That's right. She ain't beating you. She ain't kicking you. She ain't putting no hatchet to your throat or no knife. That's right. That's right. Hair hanging down, eyes shining at night. You better get up. Now do you understand? Amen. No woman should have to end up with a broken jaw. No way. Black eye. Busted ribs. Broken legs. From her husband who claimed he's saved. Saved. 
And Jesus said, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. That's right. Not with violence, you fool. That's right. You come jump on Pastor Jennings, who anybody and everybody. Everybody. You bunch of poor pit rapists. I wish when any of you men do come in here who are rapists. Come on in here. You women, stand up. That's right. You didn't get born again to be a rape victim? No. Did no you way. get married to be a rape victim? No way. Did you get married to be beat and smacked and kicked? That's right. Shoved against the wall and knocked down the step? No, no. Hear the Bible. Now in Ephesians 5, verses 28 and 29. Follow me in the Bible. So ought men to love their wives. How? As their own bodies. Do you rape yourself? Hmm. Do you be forcing stuff up in you? Forcing stuff. And it won't go in and you keep trying? That's right. <laughs> Are you fighting that object? No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now I'll just get closer with the Jaws music in the background. Dun 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 dun. Huh? Hallelujah. You mad preacher? It's a mad man. You fool preacher? Fool. Hey woman, I'm talking about your husband. Yeah. You was raped against your will last night, and he quoted scripture. My lord. And then try to brush it off, so y'all can have prayer when it's over. You ain't got nothing but a pervert that you married to. That's right. A pulpit derelict. That's right. Get me. So ought men to love their wives as, as their own body. As your own body. He that loveth his wife. Listen at this. He that loveth his wife. Loveth himself. He loveth himself. For no man. Wait, you mean to tell me a man raped his wife? There ain't no act of love. No. For no man. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh. Hated his own flesh. But nourisheth. What, wait a minute. What did he do with his flesh? But nourisheth. And the Bible is dealing with how to treat your body the same way you treat your wife. That's right. He does what? But nourishes and... Hey, hey. hey man. Rape. You rape your wife, where's the nourishment come from? Right. You ain't nourishing her. No. no. Oh, no. No. She's not being nourished, being raped. No. No way. Listen. But nourishes... Nourishes... And cherishes it. Well, but nourisheth and cherisheth You ain't cherisheth it. it. You ain't cherishing that. No. If you got a raper. No. No. Any preacher. Preacher. Says it's impossible for a husband to rape his wife. Ask him to give you the definition of rape. And if he try to make rape as just single people, he's ignorant. Ignorant. He's ignorant. That's right. Rape is simply forcing your sexual will That's it. against the will of another. That's right. And that fall under any category. That's right. You got incest where rape took place. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 I dealt with the case. Of, uh, you see, I deal with Bible and got it rightly divided. Right. Yeah. Where a woman brought her husband to me. And she found out later that the husband was knocking up all four daughters. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. And the scripture that the husband used was when Lot daughters yeah. got the father drunk uh -huh. and laid with the father so seed can be in the land. And from one daughter, Moab was born. And from another daughter, Ammon. And from Moab, the Moabites came. Right. And from Ammon, the Ammonites came. And she knew this was going on, but he kept bringing that scripture. Mm. She said, I, I, I got to talk to Pastor Jennings. Oh, yeah. That's right. 
He even got the wine. What? So he and the daughters can get drunk. Oh, Lord. And you pulpit deviants. Mm. You no good things. Talking about I'm too raw. No, you too scared. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. So then I had to get Bible where Moses laid law. Don't even see your sister or your daughter naked. One daughter, 15. Another, 13. Another, 10. Another, 6. What? My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. So I asked him. No, I asked the girls. How many of y'all got pregnant? They look. And he tried to give them a look. I said, don't pay him no mind. How many of y'all got pregnant? Mm. Three of them. Raise their hand. Wow. And I asked one, how many times? I asked the other, how many times? Good Lord. I asked the other, how many times? I said, who took you to get your abortions? My daddy. I told him, I said, if you thought it was right, why would you kill it? That's right. That's right. Folks get abortions because they don't, you know, they, either they don't want it, they, they went about it the wrong way, everything. everything. But if you're going to try to say it's God's will, why would you kill it? Right. You liar. That's right. You said, Pastor Jenner, I don't know what to do. I said, call the police. And he was a member of First Church. He's in jail now. Amen. Amen. I keep telling folk, they don't have no idea the cases I deal with. I had his backside locked up. Wonderful. Nice game. Wonderful. Wonderful. He handled the word of God deceitfully. deceitfully. You are trifling. That's right. He used scripture. That's something. Where the daughters of Lot got their daddy drunk. He got his daughters drunk. Got them pregnant repetitiously. You people, come out of these churches. Come out. Come out. They are no good, and they ain't preaching nothing. That's right. That's why out of all the preachers over social media, the truth of God is the target, and I'm glad. Yeah. Why is it that everybody try to turn the people away from the truth of God? Why? why? Because the devil is losing thousands of souls because of this message. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. The Holy Ghost says what? So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. What? He that loveth his wife loveth himself. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. But no man ever yet hated his own flesh. And what? But nourisheth and cherisheth. You it. women, don't you sit there and let your husband beat you and kick you all around. Right. And tomorrow he going to rape you. That's not God's will. No. I, I defy him. No. If he's an apostle, I defy him and challenge him. If he's a, I don't care what area of ministry he's in. He's a liar and a deceiver. And a deceiver. That's right. They got the nerve to try to get Bible. Jesus said, you're one flesh. That Jesus said to force yourself force. upon it. No. no, no. He said, love it like your own. That's right. Cherish it. Yep. Nourisheth and cherisheth it. Nourisheth it. That means take care of it. And cherisheth it. Rape ain't taking care of you. No. Rape is traumatizing you. That's right. And what does that do? When a woman got to live under that, she started living in fear. 
Yeah. Some cases scared to come home. That's right. When he's home, she may go to her mama house or pretend she got to go shopping That's just to right. stay out late because she dread to come home. Yeah. Get me. So are men to love their wives Get as this. their own bodies. Get this. Get this. Your homemade apostle. That's right. Your backyard bishop. Amen. Your dungeon made prophet. Your Kenny Garden elder. Amen. Your preschool bishop. That's right. Are you so silly and so worthless and so fleshy minded? Mm. Are you looking at what I'm telling you? Amen. You let a preacher come in first church, talk about it and not read. It's best you go right now. Yes, you do. We ain't even having a discussion. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know how dangerous that teaching is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I think that that will empower him to force his will upon the ignorant. All he got to do is say, look, the Lord spoke to me. I peanut butter sandwiches. The Lord told me that is his will. That's like that fella did with his own daughters. He brought Bible. Mm. And I come rightly dividing the Bible and using it right. That's right. Well, Pastor Jen, in the Old Testament, uh, you had uh, sisters that married their own blood brothers. What about today? The sisters that married their own blood brothers back then represented later on the New Testament church that you don't marry outside of the outside family of, the of God, outside the body of Christ. That's it. Just like you got the same natural blood, which was justified back then, but now you both got to have the same blood that was in the body of Jesus. That's why you got to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and Paul said, marry only in, in the, the Lord. Lord. That's yeah. it. How can two walk together except they agree? They agree. That's right. One in the body and one out of the body have no fellowship. No fellowship. You're a bunch of crooks. Amen. That's why I have to preach this. Oh, yes. Oh, that God, I just, hallelujah. I just can't help myself. The Holy Ghost makes me preach it. Amen. Some of you, that's your culture, raping your wife against her will, beating her up. Yeah. You're sick. Amen. Yeah. Wife all bruised up, all banged up. Then when she don't say amen to you in church, you get mad and cuss her out. <laughs> That's right. Get mad. In what is that? In Ephesians 5, verses 28 and 29. Real quick. So are men to love their wives as their own bodies. You brothers, when we're over, you get a chance to change that clock. It's on military time. All right. So ought men to love their wives as their own body. And he that loveth his wife loveth himself. Yes. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh. All right. But nourisheth and cherisheth it. Yes. Even as the Lord the church. The Lord nourish and cherish the church. He yes. don't force his will on us. No. No, no. Does he? No. Does he force you to pray? No. Does he force you no. to fast? No. Does he force you to testify? Does he force you to say? No. Does he force you to do anything? Anything. And yet the church is the bride. That's right. The church is the wife. That's right. That's right. The Lord Jesus is the husband man. Husband man. Wonderful. Christ is the head of the church. Of the church. And what does he force us to do? Nothing. Nothing. He gave us choice. Go back to the foundation of the thing and see what these fools are. Back in Hosea chapter 9 and at verse 7. Get me, my viewers. I know you never heard this topic dealt with over the air. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. There's many women in the churches today that are listening and watching. You're being raped by your husband in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're going to the doctor lying. Saying you fell. Mm. That's how you broke your arm. You fell. That's how you got all them bruises on your leg. You fell. That's how you got a cut on your forehead. You fell. Yeah, Lord. Some of you now been in the office with your bishop. Mm. And the woman is complaining. 
He keep forcing himself on me. I'm tired. I don't, I don't have the strength. I just can't take it no more. The bishop was saying, well, you're one flesh. And uh, if that's what he want. Well, bishop, by force, if he got to force himself, your job is just to give it. My Don't Lord. be hard here. The Bible says, obey your husband in all things, and that come under obedience. Lord. But Bishop, don't disrespect me. Ha 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 ha. Jumping around like a, a office donkey. That's what they'll do. <laughs> That's right. Jumping around like an office donkey. <laughs> That's right. So you didn't get no help from your bishop. Well, bishop, he smacked me. Well, you should have been cooperative. Bishop, I got these marks around my neck. He almost choked me out. Mm. You should have been obedient. Lord. Bishop, my arm is in the sling. How I got there. He did this because I said no. You got to obey him in all things or suffer the consequences. Lord. This is church. Church. Church is teaching this trash. That's right. Apostolic been taught it for years. Yeah. Pentecostal is doing it. Yeah. Methodist is doing it. You folk come out of these churches. They're not the church of the Lord Jesus no, Christ. No. No. They're nothing but an abuse house. That's right. Nothing more. That's it. An abuse house. That's right. It ain't the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the house of abuse. House of abuse. Hmm. Women getting raped. Broken arms. Teeth knocked out. Broken back. Broken legs. And some of the ones that's doing it is their husband who's the pastor. That's right. Right. And he put Bible over your head to scare you from saying anything. Yeah. And tell you if you say anything, I'm going to throw you out the church. You ain't in no church. How you going to throw me out of what I'm not in? <laughs> there right. ain't no church. Not the church. That's a doghouse. Oh, yes. Hear me, Bishop. Jump on me. You so much of a man, jump on me. I'm telling you, women. Leave them churches, even if your daddy is a pastor or your husband. Leave them. Leave them. If he threaten you, who cares? Leave them. That's right. And take that poor pit abuser to the police and lock his dirty drawers up. <laughs> That's right. Lock him up. Amen. You see why they hate us? <laughs> I don't care if you do. You a bunch of heathens. heathens. You a bunch of heathens. <laughs> Go back to Hosea and hear me so I can knock off. Back in Hosea chapter 9 and at verse 7. You let my daughters get married. I got three girls. That's right. Now how in the world can I say anything to that husband if I'm going to rape my wife? That's right. And she's, please, please, Gino, 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 please. Gino, 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 I'm in a lot of pain. Please, Gino, Gino, Gino. Shut up! That's right. What kind of pleasure she gonna get out of that? That's something. You let my daughters come to me. Daddy, my husband raped me. I told him, look, I don't feel good. I'm not well. I'm sick. He come slapping me. Pastor Jenny, you're an apostle. You can't do nothing. I'm not supposed to be violent. <laughs> but see, there ain't no hypocrite. That's why the folks out there respect myself. That's right. I'm going to come to your house. That's right. I'm telling you straight up. See, I'm not the type of man that try to project this spiritual image and say, oh, when God saved me, I don't know how to hold my hands. Yes, I do. Amen. 
Yes, I do. I know how to hold my hand. Yes, I do. That's right. Ain't nobody's hypocrite. Go ahead, man. I'm telling you. Go ahead. You put your hands on my daughter, I'm coming to you. And if any sister marry my sons and my sons put his hand on you, I'm going to snatch my son. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. We ain't playing that on either end. That's right. I'm a down-to-earth preacher. There ain't no hypocrite about nothing. That's right. Wonderful, man. But well, where's the love of Christ? There are some things I got to come up to. <laughs> what real man? Go ahead. Daughter go and run to the daddy. Who been raped and beat and slapped by a husband. What you gonna do? Oh, you going back and work it out? Really? She's bleeding. Her eyes busted. You not your fatherhood and your father obligation don't stop when that girl get married. It stops when you die. That's right. That's when it stops. That's right. Well, you no good men. Well, she's grown now. He's grown now. You're on your own. Yeah, you're on your own. But my obligation right. as, a as a father stops when I don't breathe. That's right. But as long as I'm live, who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. Amen. So you men that got this thought that because your children get married, your fatherly job stops? Man, you don't know what a father is. That's right. When we marry the lamb and he present to himself his glorious church, the church is the bride and Jesus is the lamb. Right. That's the marriage of the lamb. That's right. He don't shut down being father. No. No. He's the eternal father of the church. That's right. That's right. I'm father until I'm dead. Yeah, Amen. That's when the grave shut down yeah. my fatherly job. That's right. So to you men that are not married, don't you go beating no woman. No. Forcing yourself on no woman. Well, I have needs. You don't know what her condition may be. That's right. Be considerate. Look not every man on his own things, but on the things of others. others. You don't know what condition she's in. You don't know what mental stage she's in. That's right. There are some things about herself she may not didn't tell you. Yeah. That's true. Sometime when you lay or just touch her, she may cringe. And you may misinterpret that as not loving you. Because there's a thing aside to her or an experience that she didn't tell you. That's right. That's right. That's what the Bible tells you, husbands, dwell with your wives. According to knowledge. According to knowledge. Likewise, ye husbands. Listen at the Bible. In 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 7. Likewise, your husbands. Dwell with them. Dwell with them. According to knowledge. According to knowledge. Giving honor unto the wife. Giving honor to the wife. As unto the weaker vessel. Unto what? As unto the Yay! weaker vessel. If the Bible calls her the weaker vessel, why are you forcing yourself on someone that's weak? That's right. This is a good lesson. Oh, yes. That goes for, have I got any rapists out here in the audience? <laughs> That's right. You may not come back. Okay, if you don't, you're going to hear this message. Right. Amen. If you don't obey, you're going to go to hell. That's right. So, viewers, if there's any preacher, get over social media or in the pulpit. You know how the pulpit derelicts love to do? Yeah. They screen the messages from the truth of God that they say they're not watching. That's true. <laughs> That's right. And they go to the Bible. Well, we heard Pastor Jennings last week 
and we're going to go to the Holy Scriptures, we're gonna go and we're going to let the Bible speak. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Because we heard that crazy man says that, um, uh, that a husband uh, is not supposed to rape his wife. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's impossible for the husband to rape the wife. How can a married man rape another, uh, his own wife? That alone is ludicrous. Is it? Is it? Is it ludicrous? Mm. So if it's ludicrous, why did the Bible say cherish her like your own body? Nourish it and cherish it. Is it ludicrous that you can stick something in your backside <laughs> and rape your own self? Let me get real raw with you, Mr. Ludicrous. Come on, Jay! Come on! Look at me, you heathen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You said it's ludicrous what I said. But listen at the Bible. In Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 29. Said what? For no man ever yet hated, no his, man own yet hated flesh, his own flesh, but nourishes, nourishes and cherishes, cherishes it, even as the Lord the church. Love her like he do his own body. So yeah. ought men to love their wives yes. as their own bodies. Well, it's, it's, if you try to rape her, is that showing love? No. No. It's impossible for me to rape my wife. Is it impossible for you to jam a cucumber in your back garage? Amen. Or squash. Or candy yams. Or a sweet potato. Or a gerbil. That's right. No, it ain't impossible. That's not impossible. And just like it ain't impossible for you to go hire a raccoon to scratch your backside, it ain't impossible for you to rape your wife. That's right. You old pervert. You better get this, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> you Dr. Doolittle out there. That's You're right. Zoo keeping heathens. Zoo keepings. Get me. They don't like my Frank talking. No, no. But they got, but we make it so plain until if you are uh, riding them short yellow school buses, <laughs> you still get it. You still come off getting it. You'll come off. I'm not supposed to have gerbils. You're going to get it. Yes, you will. Huh? That's, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes, you will. You're Dr. Doolittle hypocrite. That's right. That's what your pastor is. He's Dr. Doolittle. They're talking to the animals. Talking pastor. to the animals. Amen. Trying to flirt with the animals. That's right. That's right. Acts 238. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of All you. All right, you rapists. Amen. Get up off your wife. Stop forcing yourself. That's right. Bleeding her out. My Lord, my Lord. You have no self-respect. You have no self-dignity. And you're not a preacher. You hear Pastor Jennings now. That's right. You're not a preacher. I don't care who you are. I said you're not a preacher. Just jump on Pastor Jennings. That's right. I want to say to all my viewers, be watching over social media for the first nut. For the first nut. Who try to get Bible, Old Testament, New anywhere. anywhere. Think of what he's trying to justify now. A man raping his wife. His wife. You ain't got no preacher. No. The shepherd protects the sheep. That's right. That's right. That's what my job is. That's right. There are many women who suffer in silence. Undoubtedly, that's here now that can bear witness and identify with what I'm preaching. Many of you women watching now were victims, are victims, and you're going to be victims because you're going to end up marrying some guy who coming from some religious setting or some cultural belief right. that believe is nothing wrong with beating you up. If that's what it takes. To have sex with you. That's right. You ought to bow to God and thank him Amen. for the truth of God's message. Amen. It's a lifesaver. The Bible says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Leave your churches. Who? Everybody. Everybody. Come out of the church you're in and don't never go back ever again. Yeah. Repent of your sins. Be sorry for the madness you've been doing out there. That's right. A lot of you are nothing but puppets of a religion. 
puppets of a preacher. That's why you're out there acting like a fool, because you're acting out what you've been taught. Yeah. Yeah. And what you've been taught, you thought the preacher was explaining the Bible correctly, and he wasn't. He used the Bible to his advantage and to your disadvantage and made a fool out of you. Yeah. Get this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Before you read that one more time in Hosea chapter and verse. Back in Hosea chapter 9, we're at verse 7. Write this down, viewers. Hosea, Hosea the chapter ninth 9 chapter. And verse 7. And the seventh verse. The days of visitation are come. The days of visitation is coming. The days of recompense are come. Days of recompense is coming. Israel shall know it. Israel, they know it. The prophet is a fool. Your daddy. Yeah. Amen. Your uncle, your cousin. Yeah. Your nephew, your husband. Yeah. Your pastor, your yeah. bishop. Slap happy old grandpappy. Amen. You. Amen. Yeah. What are you? The prophet is a fool. Yeah, get this. The, what else? The spiritual man is mad. Anytime that preacher got you doing mad stuff, telling you to sell all your property, sell your money, give it to him. That's and right. Pack up and move somewhere. Go yeah. why? The Lord said it. Yeah. Lord. When God move on Moses to deliver Israel out of the land of Egypt, they didn't went to a place worse than Egypt. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. Canaan was better than Egypt. Oh, yes. That's why it says it flowed with yep. milk and honey. And honey. Yeah. Mad men Mad. stepped in, yeah. tricked the people. Mad men <laughs> stepped in. Got some of you folk packing up, leaving your homes, selling your houses. That's right. Giving your money to some old preacher, yeah. giving it to the church. And then all of y'all going to bunk and room together. <laughs> My Lord. Amen. When God wants you to move, he wants you to move closer to him. That's right. That's what he wants now. That's right. Israel going to Canaan represent you coming out of sin so you can go into New Jerusalem. That's right. That's, that's, that's what that represents. That's right. Not nobody getting up to my son. I'm God's call, God sent, and the Lord spoke to me to tell this little flock here, we're going to move to uh, the Sahara. <laughs> you can't tell the difference between a camel and an anteater. Nice. Are you so foolish? Are you so silly? Amen. Which goes to show you people hear the message, but it's not getting in them. Right. This is why we take our time and dismantle false concepts. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you dismantle false That's concepts right. and false belief and false teaching and you get the word of God in you, Amen. nobody can come along. No. When you get it in you and you in it. That's it. Nobody. That's it. Not even your uncle, your daddy, your husband can come along with some nutty teaching. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And then root you up. Yeah. Talked to one of the members of the Truth of God this morning out of Colorado. I'm not going to call her name. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, how the preacher was trying to get her to move to Puerto Rico. My Lord, my Lord. And she told him, what about my son? I'm not leaving my son. He ain't paid that no mind. He said, forsake all. Now the husband is not saved. And he had better sense than that. Amen. He said, you ain't leaving me and you ain't leaving our child. Mm -hmm. She told him, but well, Pastor Jennings denounced it. He told her, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is why people think that preachers are stupid and ain't got good sense. That's right. Villas! God ain't never sent a man since he's been God. And that man word contradict what God said. Yeah. I'm declaring to the world, China, <laughs> the, dragon the dragon, is not going to nuke America no. with no warhead no. in 2026 no. at all. No. In fact, I'm still going to be here. Right. 
Read your notes. How you know? Because the vision that God gave me is for yes. <laughs> My brother sent me a scripture in the book of Revelation. I didn't even respond to it. Talk about the star that fell from heaven, warm wood. And a third part of the sea was smitten. And a third part of the earth was smitten. And everything in the water died. Okay, big, what they got to do with it? Right. They ain't got nothing to do with what you're talking about. No. Warm wood was a star from heaven. Yeah. Not a nuclear war here from China. <laughs> That's right. A nuke is not a star. That's right. A nuke is man creation. A star is God creation. Yeah. Amen. Don't try to bring me Bible that you don't understand. You are trying to bring Bible to justify a lie. Yeah. I'm declaring openly it's a lie. Right. And all that follow it will go to hell over the lie. That's right. How Campton done it. You did. see, we still here? Yeah. Yes, he did do it. Yeah. Al Camden used to be Williams' buddy. <laughs> Al oh. Camden was on Williams' list <laughs> of false prophet lovers. Oh, Pastor. He had a list. <laughs> the Lord delivered him. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> Amen. People be over the air, why are you always bothering? Because he's my brother. I, I got to bother. Oh, yeah. That's like he always bothered me. Right. <laughs> they don't see what you do to me. <laughs> mm. Amen. Sometimes William don't show me no mercy. Right. Amen. He's tying to me with their boosting of Huey and Shay. That's right. <laughs> Baby in the amen corner. Amen. Amen. They, they step back <laughs> and then put him up to the crimes. That's right. And I kill all three of them with Bible. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She said, I ain't going to no Puerto Rico, Pastor Jennings. No. I said, what about your sister? She said, my sister ain't going either. Mm. They were told by the fella that if you don't go, you're going to go to hell. That's no more truth than I'm related to Donkey Kong and Great Ape. <laughs> no more than he's Godzilla and I'm King Kong and we fighting it out. We fighting it out. <laughs> fighting it out. In the pulpit, Pastor. In the pulpit. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? What's the matter with him? You didn't get the word in you. When you get the word in you, not even your daddy can come and trick you. That's right. That's right. That's why I have no respect to person. That's right. None. Amen. I ain't got no respect. I, when no, I tell don't. you I don't care who you are, I ain't bluffing. Amen. God did not say, go to Puerto Rico. No. Leave Oklahoma and go to Puerto Rico. God ain't never said it. <laughs> no, he didn't. No. And I can die on it. That's right. America going to be here. That's right. In 2026. Yeah. Pastor Jen is going to be here. Yeah. Truth of God still gonna be in preach. Oh yeah. The work gonna be thousands and thousands Thousand. of times larger. Mm. Yeah. What? Thousands and thousands of times larger. Wonderful. Glory to God. Glory to God. See. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What see now. Hallelujah. 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 Are you getting what I'm talking? Yeah. Yeah. So no, don't sell your house. And you that did, you've been tricked. Yeah. You've been tricked. How oh, yeah. Campton done the same thing, same thing. in 2012. He said, when 2012 come here, he, 2011, he said it's going to happen in 2012. Then he didn't say America going to be nuked. The Lord going to come. Yeah. And then judgment in October. <laughs> That's right. That's the Lord going to come, and then the judgment day going to be in October. In October. <laughs> Here it is, 2022. Bishop, Bishop Hunter, back in the 90s, when I was still in the basement, Williams can bear with me. Mm -hmm. 
We went to visit him, sat in the back. He said that God showed him a ladder in a dream. And on the top of that ladder was the number 2005. I'll never forget it. That's right. Am I right, Will? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. <laughs> oh, <thank> God. <laughs> Fella, fella said, he going to play that number, Dr. <laughs> Devil. My Lord. But I never forget. See, it doesn't matter if you're in the truth. If you're not careful, you'll run ahead of the spirit, run ahead of the Bible, and then do something on your own. And that's what Bishop Hunter did. That's what he did. Right in West Philadelphia, a little small church there, up the street from Refuge Churches of Christ, 52nd and Race. I never forget it. He said he saw a ladder, and at the top was the number 2005. He said the Lord let him know. Yep. He said the Lord let him know that he's coming back. That's what he said. The year 2005. Then he tried to clean it up. He said, now, don't go quote me the scripture. Don't know the day, don't know the hour. He said, I'm not telling you the day. I'm not telling you the hour. He said, but God showed him the year. That's a lie. That's a lie. Hunter's dead now. Yep. Been dead since the 90s. Or late 90s or early twos. It is 2022. Yeah. That's right. Died with that lie. Stick to what Jesus said. No man knows yeah. the day. Or the hour. Or the hour. Nobody knows. Nobody right. knows. Said he's coming as a thief in the night. That's right. Just leave it just like he has it. That's right. Don't anyone try to put a year upon the arrival of our Lord sins. That's Get right. man. That's right. Every man. I Every don't care man. if he's black, white, brown, yellow, or red, or rich or poor, bond or free. Man or woman. Man or woman. Says the Lord told them he's coming. And they put a year, you heard a liar. That's a liar. That's right. If it's your mama, she's a liar. Your mama is a grits, cooking, baking, frying, egg, scrambling liar. Get me? That's right. And you people, some of you baptized, in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, jumping around, speaking in tongues. The Lord said, move. And you jumping around. Oh, the Lord said, Lord ain't said nothing. Hear the old man now. The prophet is a fool. Yeah. Give Spirit. chapter and verse. Hosea chapter 9, still in verse what 7. What make these men foolish? Amen. They run ahead of the Spirit. Yeah. And they want to project themselves to be what God never made them. And the first victims like this in 99.9 .9 of cases is always family members. That's right. Because family want to be loyal to daddy and uncle yeah. and granddaddy. So they'll be loyal to uh, you. Know, and they'll, be, they'll talk among themselves. Wait a minute, why don't you go talk to daddy? Man, you know daddy ain't going to listen to nobody. But he's wrong. I know it, but. But what? That's but, right. Yeah. When it come to your soul, there ain't no buts. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Yes. The book says. The prophet is a fool. I got your pastor out there, viewers. Amen. I'm just waiting for the first nut. They get over social media and justify raping his wife. And some of them probably say it with pride and convince their wife to get on the screen. Yeah. Well, my husband raped me, and it's the Lord's will. I mean, he forced himself on me, and I want to subject, I want to tell all you women, subject yourself <laughs> to your husband. <laughs> That's right. You old liver lip hypocrite. <laughs> nice, nice. You one of them liver lip hypocrites. That's right. If your husband beats you, just take it in Jesus' name. They, they beat Jesus, Jesus. They beat him on the back. Just think of it as being beaten for the sake of the Lord. You got people just that stupid. That's right. And that's how they take the Bible and twist it on the weak. Yeah. That's right. That's true. Yeah. That's Imagine 
Some born again woman in the hospital with a jaw broken because she felt as though she was obeying God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my human family. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is man. Man. For the multitude For the of thine multitude iniquity of your sins. and the great hatred. The hatred towards the gospel, your mm. hatred towards God's yeah. word. Yeah. Hatred. Hatred. Makes you promote this type of trash teaching. Okay. What they got to do about it, Williams, Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. Get me. Amen. He wants you to be sorry. Sorry. Amen. You know, I can take this all the way past six o'clock. Oh, yeah. Nice. Easy. And we're going to make this one service very easy. Very easy. All these suffering women out here. That's the truth. The thousands of cases I have to deal with in the world. I'm not a local pastor. No. God sent me to the world. Amen. So we have a gospel for the world. Women have came in my offices around the world, broken arms, mm. broken backs, dislocated jaws, black eyes, my Lord. cut, shot from husbands that say they're in the truth. Mm. I ain't talking about this happening from people out there in the truth. My Lord. Because the church they came from believed it, preached it. Mm. I had men left here and said, he, he talk about how bad men are too much. What about the women? Well, if you ain't bad, what you running for? Well, you run, that's right. What are you worrying about it for? <laughs> that's right. My message that comes from God is to protect men and women, boys and girls. Amen. As sick as this society is. What are you complaining for? You ought to thank your God for me. That's right. That's what you just ought to do. That's right. You know how many old women have told me through the years, oh, I wish I had your teaching when I was a child. So many wish they had it. Yeah. You ought to thank your God for getting it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bills, these fool mad preachers, they don't care about you. Only thing they care about from you is this. Zoom the camera in. Amen. Zoom it in real good. It's the only thing your pastor care about. Yeah. He don't care nothing about you. This to him is more important than you. This to him is God. Right. This to him is his savior. It's his savior. This to him is his Lord. Yeah. He don't care if you go to hell that night. That's true. Yeah. He don't care if you're beaten. He don't care if you're raped. He don't care if you are used and abused. As long as he can get this out of you, That's your right. husband, your family, your business, yeah. your mama, your poor daddy. That's right. Your social security check from your grandmama. That's right. As long as he can get this, he's willing to say anything, believe anything, got you doing anything, because his fear of God is gone. Oh, yeah. Or he never had it. Yeah. Come out to churches. Don't give them this no more. That's right. I don't care if it's your blood brother. You let that pulpit crook get a job and go to work. Right. Or let him die broke and wake up in hell. Amen. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did the Holy Ghost say? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to get right? I want to come out of these old foolish churches that you've been wasting your time in and get on God's side and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet if you want it today. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother there.
All of you that are standing on the sister side, follow those sisters there. This is a powerful message. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. This, this message ought to go viral. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Even if you don't get the whole thing. The segment about men raping their wives, take that and put it on TikTok or Octok, whatever it is. That's right. <laughs> put it on TikTok, Facebook. But there's a lot of victims out here. Yes, it is. Not getting raped by them out there. That's true. They come home. That's true. And sleep with a rapist. Cook for a rapist. And they're looking over their shoulders, waking up through the night, checking their door to the room. Yeah. Just to find their old sloppy mouth husband all up under their daughters. And he gets to look at her. That's right. And she closed the door. And go in her bedroom and cry. Yeah. And then he tell her, you better not tell nobody. Yeah. This is God's will. I'm doing the will of God. That's what they'll say. Like Lot. Mm. But I don't understand. You ain't got to understand. Yeah. We come to break that stuff up. Yes. Amen. Any of you so called preachers don't like it? Come on here. Come on here. See if I don't beat you into dust with Bible. That's right. I'm talking to you, you old pulpit hypocrite. You apostolic and Pentecostal, non-denominational raping heathen. Go ahead. You want man. to go to hell. Come mm. jump on Pastor Jenner with all that rape stuff. I beat you senseless with the Bible. Yeah. Who? You. Don't get on social media and talk your talk. Walk that walk right here. Go ahead, man. You women, don't tolerate it. You don't have to tolerate it. Go ahead. From nobody. That's right. Hallelujah. Who would fight this but a fool? Yeah. All right. You yeah. heard the old troublemaker. Right. Mm. Now let me say, Sister Jeanette Scott Sandra, are you in the house? Raise your hand. Oh, I'm sorry, Joanne Scott. All right, uh, after service, they want you to go to the financial office. Do you know where it is? All right, where's one of the ushers? Where's one of the ushers? Sisters that are ushering, please. Where are you? Wake up back there. <laughs> Reese, raise your hand, Sister Joanne. Take her to the financial office after the benediction because she don't know where it's at. All right, be back. Prayer begin at 5.30. <laughs> Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Elder Williams will close us out in prayer. <laughs> Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, once again for thine word. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the man of God. We thank you, Lord God, for thine spirit, how you preach through him. My God, from thine holy scriptures, we thank you for your protection. We thank you, Father God, for your leading and for your guidance, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for all of your divine mercy that you show upon us. Bless us and help us and strengthen us and keep us. Remember those that's waiting on the Holy Ghost. Bless them, my God, that they may be filled with thine spirit. Continue to bless the pastor and give him strength, my God, to deliver thine word. We thank you, Father God, for all that you've been to us and for everything that you've done for us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.